Hi, everyone, you're watching the HiGoSpot channel. And what we want to show you today is about how you could add music from your computer to your iPhone. It's very easy and we'll show you how to do it step by step. Every method in this video is tested and proven to be helpful to add music from a computer to an iPhone. So let's jump in and get started right now. So, the first method we're gonna show you is to use the iTunes. It basically works for all Windows computers and can sync your songs, playlists and albums with your iPhone. If you're a Mac user, don't worry, we have got your back as well. Just fast forward to the next tools in this video and they will help you get the job done. Alright, let's start with iTunes first. It's really a helpful tool for Windows users to transfer music from computer to iPhone. Not limited to the songs purchased within iTunes. You can also add your own music files to iTunes library and the sync them with your iPhone. But, before we start, it's important to know that iTunes will replace your current iPhone music library with the newly synced files. In other words, any track on your iPhone but not in the iTunes will be deleted, and only the synced music will be existing after the transfer. So, make sure you're aware of this if you don't want to cause any data loss. Alright, if you're ready, let's start. As you can see, I'm now on a Windows desktop. And here are a few songs that are currently on my computer. To add these songs to my iPhone, I'll need to open the iTunes first. If you don't have iTunes on your PC, go ahead to Apple's website and download the latest version to your computer. Also, I'll share the iTunes download link below this video, so you can click to get it on your computer for free. Alright, when iTunes is on your computer, open it up. Now, the transfer process may be a little bit different depending on where your music files are saved on your computer. So if your music collections are all in the iTunes library, you can start the transfer right away. On the contrary, if the tracks you want are not in your iTunes library or iTunes playlists, you'll need to add them to iTunes first. Here's how you can do it. At the top menu of iTunes window, click Files, and then select Add Files to iTunes. You should see a pop-up window where you can select and add the music files from your computer storage. Or, to make things easier, you can just drag and drop the files into the iTunes window. Just like this, and they will be listed here, for your playback or other options. Okay, once ready, you can now connect your iPhone to your computer. Get your lightning to USB cable and create a connection between your devices. If this is your first time connecting your phone to computer, you may be required to trust to your computer and input your iPhone passcode to go through. After that, you'll notice that there's a phone icon showing up at the upper left corner of iTunes screen. Click it to move on, and select the music option from the left menu. Alright, we're finally reached the sync music screen. So, tick the checkbox here. And under it, you'll find two options that let you sync your entire iTunes library, or just a selection of your playlists and albums. Choose either one to select what you want, and click the apply button down below to start syncing. It may take a few minutes depending on how many songs you're transferring. When it's finished, the music is added to your iPhone from computer successfully. Now, you can unplug your iPhone, and open the music app to enjoy the newly added songs anytime you want. However, like I said, your previous iPhone music library is totally erased now. So, is there any way to keep the current iPhone music while adding new songs from computer to it? Luckily, the answer is a yes, but it needs the help of a third-party tool called iPhone Data Transfer. It's one of the best alternatives to iTunes in the file transferring field. And it provides flexible options that allow you to transfer files between your computer and iPhone in either direction. Most importantly, it does no harm to your iPhone content. Nothing will be erased or replaced when you add music from computer to iPhone, which makes it a better option for lossless music transfer. Alright, if you're interested in how it works, keep watching, I'll show you how to do it step by step on your computer. So the first thing is to install it on your PC or Mac. The steps are identical, but make sure to get the right version for your Windows or Mac OS. I'll drop the download link in the video description for your ease, or you can also visit appjeeker.com and find it from the product list. Okay, after the installation, start it on your computer. Now, attach your iPhone using an appropriate data cable. When it's connected successfully, you will see your device info on the main screen. And then, simply head to the Music tab. 
If you have songs on your iPhone, they will be sorted here by category. You can manage all these files or remove whatever you don't want. Alright, to add music to your iPhone, simply click the add icon at the top. And you're taken to the file or folder selection window. From here, you just need to locate and open the music files that you wish to put onto your iPhone. Every item you select will be added to your iPhone's music library automatically. And similar to iTunes, this program also allows you to add music files by drag and drop, which can save you much time. And that's all. No additional steps. We can now open the music app on iPhone. As you see, every song I add is here now, together with the previous tracks I have. It's so easy and straightforward, and you don't need to worry about losing your current iPhone music tracks. Go ahead and try it yourself by clicking the link below. While the second method is available for both PC and Mac, some of you may still want a default app to add music from computer to iPhone without extra download. Alright, if you're using a Mac, that wouldn't be a problem. There's a built-in music app on your Mac to let you add songs from your computer to your iPhone easily. So, here, I'm gonna use a Mac to show you how to make it. And similar like using iTunes on Windows PC, we need to grab the iPhone and connect it first. Usually, the Finder window will pop up automatically. If not, you can manually launch Finder from your dock or launchpad. And when you do so, you will notice that a phone icon shows up under the Locations option on the left panel. OK, click on it. If asked, unlock your iPhone to continue. And here, select the General tab. Scroll down a little bit, and meet the Options menu. To add individual songs to your iPhone, there's one more step. That is to select the Manually Manage Music, Movies, and TV Shows option. And then click the Apply button at the bottom to save the settings. Now, you can prepare the tracks you want to add. Open the folder that contains your music files. Or simply put them on your desktop. When you're ready, open the Music app, and click your iPhone's name under Devices from the left side. We're almost there. Now, on your Music Location or Desktop folder, press the Command key on the keyboard and click on each song that you want to add to your iPhone. After selection, just drag and drop the items to the blank area on your iPhone music window. Don't release your hand before you see the tracks are added here. See? It's not challenging. However, just like iTunes, this will remove and replace the original music library on iPhone as well. When you open the music app on your phone, you'll only find the sync tracks now. So be careful when you proceed or use the second method to avoid unnecessary data loss and keep your current music library with you. And that's what we have for today. Adding music from computer to iPhone is made much easier nowadays. And if you found this video helpful, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more useful tech tips. If you've any questions, feel free to leave your comment below. Thanks for watching, see you next video.